going to be painting these two little shelves um, a charcoal black and I'm going to show you the, the countertop or the, um, the tabletop that I'm going to be using. So these are the Ikea Rask. Discontinued these little side tables, but they're the perfect. They're going to end up being like 34 inches and I wanted my table to be just a little bit higher. So when they're all set and done, I will be putting them together like so. And um, the other side, I have an Ikea Alex desk table that I'm going to be putting together right now. And that'll be the other side with drawers in it. This will be the other side that'll house my printer. And then this is the uh, tabletop that I have. And it fits exactly the size of the closet. So it'll run the complete length of the closet. And that's what the tabletop is going to be. And that's ready to go. Getting the shelf ready for the brackets that I had made up. This is the shelving that's going to go up. And basically an old bifold door. Took it apart, cut it to size. I use the same bifold doors in my closet, in, in the room closet that I built, if you didn't already see that. But I tell you, cheap and expensive. I mean, these were free, obviously, because I had them, but I've seen them at like lots of secondhand stores for 10 bucks. And you get two um, little doors, bifold doors, and you know, they were great. Take them apart, paint them up. Okay, so here is the uh, room. It is painted and this is called a designer gray. If you've never used that Canadian tire paint, in Can it is absolutely amazing. This is one coat, fast, easy. So that's basically the paint. I'm going to let it dry and it's back patches in it, but um, it dries a beautiful gray. This is actually the gray that it turns out to be after it's all dried. So it'll be really nice. Finished the painting last night, and the um, I waited till the uh, paint was dry on the shelf, and then I just installed it. That's just about as easy as it gets. And here it is. So it just a, an easy project. Um, it uh, took a little time to get this countertop in that I had made. I want this countertop. I wanted this countertop to go wall to wall. So. It took a little persuading to get it in here. Um, as you can see, I had to fix up. I'm still fixing up some trim here. Um, and I made a few gouges in the walls to try to get it in there. But I have to just fix it up. But for the most part, it's pretty much finished. Um, so I wanted to have enough space in here so I could sit at the table if I needed to. Plus, I could hide it away. And this afforded that entire thing. So I'm just going to go over basically what I did. I, I painted this. It's called... Um, designer gray and it's actually that uh, Canadian tire premier paint the two-in-one primer I, I don't know if you've ever used that premier paint but it's fantastic I'm not advocating for you to go buy it but I'll tell you it works awesome and I really like the color it's a nice gray I actually use that in my closet as well a little um I forgot to tell you about the light so that is an Ikea light um I needed to uh, have it so that the cord wasn't coming on the outside so I actually did have an electrician come and put in a um, uh, electrical outlet there so you can plug in all your stuff <laughs> and um, and then that light is perfect it, it, it moves around very inexpensive I think that was like oh, 20 bucks maybe I think at Ikea I had two Ikea shelves I believe they're the Rask shelves from years ago and I painted them black for shelving underneath there and I housed like uh, you know like filing and then everything like that it was the perfect height for the table that I wanted then all I did over on this side was make it um, uh, a brace there for the other side to hang on to um, I have some pictures of how, how difficult it was that they'll be in here um, to show you exactly um, how hard it was to get that in um, we had to put it on an angle and bash it down but I finally got it in there I really like the, the look of it so um, up top the the existing braces that are here were there from the last closet I just kept them and I use that bifold door as I do for shelving I mean everybody can get a bifold door anywhere they make great thick shelves it looks like it was meant to be and you know they're very sturdy so why not use it you know another use for a bifold door that generally people are throwing away so I painted it white and that was it so I made this a shelf up top I have a few um, Ikea accessories so they're really easy to store stuff in. They're great for office things again. 
some folders for paper and whatnot. They're, uh, I don't know, like 20 bucks. Those were like $5.99 each. And then I have the bigger ones out here. I think that they were $9.99 each, I believe. And just, you know, place your office stuff around, whatever you need um, what, for your daily today life. Plus, you have my computer, obviously, and speakers. And it was a fun project to make. It, used, it uses um, a good space so that you can tuck everything away. And yet everything is in one place for an office space. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.